Hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel with Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. These are going to be general monthly uh, love messages here for the sign of Virgo uh, for the month of May. So you could be dealing with another Virgo or someone that has Virgo highly aspected in their chart, but they do not have to. So only take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Do not force these messages to fit. If it's not yours, then it's not meant for you. We'll keep it moving. Check your placements in your chart. Um, check the other videos, some of the other videos I've done. Check with some of the other readers, okay? So uh, let's get started. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I'm going to get a few from that and see what's going on. And then I'm going to pull a few others for you and see what the month has in store for love for Virgos, okay? Let's see, Virgos, what is this? Tired of making other people happy. So if somebody's tired, they're ready to make themselves happy here. They're tired of feeling miserable. They're saying it won't happen again, okay? So this is like, I know I did wrong, but I understand what I've done, and it's not going to happen again. So some remorse or regret here, feeling sorry for themselves. Somebody could be dealing with a baby mama or a baby daddy, or could, you could be the baby mama or baby daddy. Something going on in a group chat over here. Okay, is that what you're dealing with, with a group of people or a group of people chatting? Or maybe there is an actual group chat. So we got a twin flame. So this could be a twin flame connection. It does not have to be. Somebody that you see is like a higher level soulmate. That could be also two Virgos. So we got break in. So somebody may want to break in or somebody may break in. Or somebody wants to just break in, you know, break you down a little bit here. So we got June. June could be significant. You could be dealing with a, a Cancer or a Leo, somebody on that cusp. Let's see. What's this? Playing on your fears. So somebody playing on your fears is baby mama, baby daddy, maybe trying to keep you stuck in a situation, you know, putting obstacles in your way. So maybe you're trying to break free if you're not trying to break in. Uh, just take it as it resonates, though. But I feel like maybe this baby mama, baby daddy is trying to break down you know, some, some walls or some boundaries here, okay? So let's see. I'll pull uh, some of the karmic cards for it since it is a twin flame for you. Okay, so if somebody's got rough hands or somebody's just got a rough past or a rough life here, maybe they're just a hard worker. You could be this hard worker here. They, they own at least one pet. Okay, so they may like pets, you know, pets or, or nature animals, you know, they maybe feel like comforted by that. So this person has a nice chest. Maybe you've got a nice chest, nice rack if you're a, fe a female baby mama over here. All right, we got no panties. So if somebody doesn't want you to wear any panties, they like e easy accesses. So they would say, this is the, uh, this is the channel where we tell it like it is. Okay. So this is what you want, or what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. So take it as it resonates, leave the rest. Okay. All right, uh, neat freak. So somebody could be a neat freak. You could be a neat freak or this person. So or someone's trying to, you know, clean up their life here a little bit. Maybe they feel like they need to be perfect. And you know what? No one's perfect in this world, Virgo. We all have issues. I got issues, but you got them too. Yeah, I got issues, but you got them too. We all do. Okay. So recycling here. So yes, yeah, so I feel like this this person may be like a into biodegradables and you know separating cans from plastic. They may be into recycling, but I feel like this is like somebody wants a reset, a recycle, or they're trying to recycle and remove things out of their life, you know, to to clean up a mess. Okay, that possibly they created, you created. Okay, a baby mama, baby daddy created. Maybe this happened in June of last year. Maybe this is going to be happening this coming June, okay? That's all, That's next month, so we'll see. But there's a lot of talking, a lot of chatter going around around this uh, twin flame connection here, Virgos. Let's see. Let me get a character card for you. What is going on? Okay, we got the lovers here. So whether you're working on the light side or this person is, the great love connection, great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of someone or something. So this is, you know, you love to love, to love you, baby. So someone loves to love you, baby. I'm here. Now, if they're working on the shadow side, their obsessive, their passions are taking over that. 
that can actually harm other individuals. They do it in like this self-destructive way. You know, they're devoted to being destructive. This is like overpowering someone with love. Okay. In, in a negative fashion, this is like somebody just out for sex. They may be very dominant in, you know, in sexual encounters here, wanting to take, you know, total domination, domination, domination. I don't know. <laughs> just kind of threw that one in there. So, uh, yeah, this person's like very obsessed with the, pa the passions, the passion between a, a twin flame connection or this higher level soulmate, soulmate connection. And, you know, maybe if things don't go this person's way, that's when they try and play on their fears. I mean, it's going to be different for all of you, but those are just the messages that I'm picking up for you. Let's get you some tea message. See what else is going on here for the month. So just be prepared in June. There may be a break in here. Somebody trying to break in. So, uh, you know, watch your home, you know, watch your surroundings here. Pay attention to what's going on. Okay, we have spiritual love. Yeah, this is the spiritual connection with the twin flame. So March could be significant. You could have uh, Pisces in your chart. Um, Lily's here, these peace lilies. Someone trying to find peace or bring peace to the situation. So you have great uh, good luck and fortune on your side. Four-leaf clovers could be significant. Maybe somebody's out picking four-leaf clovers if someone likes to do that. You know, uh, like forget-me-nots, or, or they can be significant for somebody out there. Work and achievement and success, you know. So you're working on your achievements or focused on your work and your successes at this time. And you do have good, great fortune. Good luck. Luck be a lady or a, a gentleman tonight. Somebody could be like a gambler over here. Okay. So we've got Archway, yeah, new opportunities and possibilities uh, and new paths are opening up for you. There's new doors, uh, you know, a lot of options here, but, you know, pay attention because you never know what's in those, okay? Um, you could have many different options. You don't know what's in that hand, what's going to be given, what's behind that door. So pay attention to that, that, you know, you're uh, you're choosing the door that's meant for you, that, that it's what you want. So we have you will be taken care of in difficult times here. So no worry. You do have a, this is a spiritual love and it's protected here. And you are protected, Virgos. We have great happiness. So this is also like music to the heart. It could be like tapping in, you know, to uh, your intuition, you know, um, being more confident in yourself, courageous and, you know, your strength. And this is just listening to your inner guidance. Um, great passion and, and loving yourself a little bit more. There's a lot of flowers around. So tulips or lilies or flowers are significant. Maybe you just enjoy flowers. There's excitement here. Firecracker going off. Something could happen around the 4th of July too. Okay. Or some shocking, something shocking is about to happen. So we have parting of the ways in either romance or business. So you could be leaving one connection, going into an, a new connection. This could also be just recycling out the old and just starting off new. Okay. So take what resonates. And we got reconciliation. So yeah, there's reconciliation here on the table for some of you Virgos. It says heartache over what you no longer have. So maybe you feel like you're heartbroken, you know, wanting to mend this bridge and you could be dealing with a, a dark woman or a dark man. It does not have to be. It could be someone just in their shadow side that they're just obsessed over the passion. Like it's too overwhelming for somebody. Okay. So just take those as they resonate. Like I said, it's not going to be for every Virgo out there, but there's some issues here. Could be children involved too, you know, working through that. Maybe there's a divorce happening or just a the leaving of a, you know, a job, if it is finding new opportunities out there and being excited, being happy, having, you know, passion for what you're doing right now in work or in romance. Some advice here it says free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life, letting go of the past and, you know, not letting your, your mind take over and, and ramble aimlessly here. You are a magical unicorn. You are special. You are important. So 
So focus on self-love, self-care, because that makes you more attractive, especially if you're looking for new love. It says getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It could be third-party situation. Like I said, there could be a baby mama or baby daddy interference in this connection. So just take that as it resonates. This person could also like, um, you know, adding another person into the relationship, you know, having that option of two. So um, if that's something that you want to entertain, uh, honestly discuss your feelings here with each other. It's saying to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may be different from your usual type and expectations. And I still see third party here. It's like two women and a man or two men and a woman. So just uh, reverse the roles. I mean, polygamy could be involved. I don't know. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So um, you could be getting engaged. Someone could be leaving a connection or a marriage or getting a divorce because they're tired of not feeling happy. Maybe they feel miserable because misery. Misery loves company, so they're looking for something new. And if it is a past person, maybe they have some regrets here. Maybe somebody is playing on their fears, you know, uh, keeping them stuck. So um, they're ready to leave. They're ready to make themselves happy. So uh, you may be going into a commitment or a higher level of commitment for some of you. Let's see. Lava, lava, lava. You don't treat me no good no more. So whatever, whoever this is, they're not getting treated very good or they don't feel like they're getting treated very good. Uh, we got sunflowers and daisies. I don't know, somebody may be pushing up daisies over here. Sometimes I stay awake and think about you. So if somebody stays awake, he's got you on their mind. Feel you even though we were apart. So this is a very telepathic connection be trying to connect with you telepathically maybe you can hear them or sometimes have a vision and, and be able to see this person I wish I could share my good news with you so somebody's got good news that they want to share but I, I feel like somebody's playing on their fears to keep them stuck here finding out the truth crushed me so somebody found out the truth whether it was you or this person and they feel like they're being left behind so uh, you know there's could be some abandonment issues that this person needs to work through here Some fears around abandonment so whatever that truth is it crushed this person or it crushed you could have been baby mama baby daddy um, interference i don't know i'm just here to give you the messages this is we're more alike than i'd like to admit so this person feels like you do have more in common but they really don't don't want to admit it or they didn't want to admit it I love myself enough to walk away so whether you left this individual or this person left you um, there was they love themselves enough or you loved yourself enough to walk away you know because the timing wasn't right they're saying that I'm sorry so um, they do want to apologize and they do want to reconcile here and says yes it is too late for some of you it's too late it's over you have moved on to a new connection here or you found new love or maybe some of you aren't focused on love right now and you're just working on yourself, working on your finances and your career because it says you can't come with me. So, <laughs> all right, let's get you some initials out of here. Let's see, we got a sister and a male, the letter T, Tabitha. Parents. Somebody could live in a high rise apartment. A Pisces. We got the letter R. Got the right stuff, baby. Love the way you turn me on. So you turn this person on, okay? So you got the right stuff. Maybe you got the good stuff. I don't know. All right. Somebody could be uh like tanning or you know a little tanner than you. Maybe they're they live in like the southern states where they can get more sun. All right, we got an air sign. We got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody feels like a, this connection has been tarnished. All right, somebody could feel very torn right now too. I don't know which way to go, what to do. Wind their watch or scratch their butt, you know, past lover. girlfriend 
think of my girlfriend, girlfriend. All right, boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend. Somebody wants a connection or they're in a connection still. Maybe they're not married. Maybe they're just a boyfriend, girlfriend, just long term. It could be common law. You know, they've been together for a long time or you've been together with this person for a long time. It's going to be different for all you Virgos and it's not going to resonate with every one of you out there. All right, we got the letter G. We got a Cancerian over here. All right, that's enough. So we got uh, Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. Could be a healer or somebody could be healing right now. Okay. Somebody could be looking at the stars. Somebody could be wishing upon a star. We got uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got a nephew, a son. A boyfriend, a girlfriend, a sister, a male, a past lover that's involved. We got the number threes here. Some of you could be seeing three, three, three. It could be just third party situation too. Um, we got a, a, the goat here. So you're the greatest of all time or uh, somebody else could see you as a, a scapegoat. So just take that as it resonates and always use your intuition and your discernment and trust in yourself. Okay. I see like a, a toad or toadstools, something with like maybe less like, you know how many, you got to kiss a lot of toads before you actually meet your prince or your princess. So uh, princess and the frog could be significant here. Somebody could make it be making an announcement very soon here in the month of May. Like bang a gong, bang a gong, get it on. So, uh, somebody could be on a rant, you know, just a, a lot of confusion right now, you know, people playing on, uh, on this person's fears or, or whatnot here. So somebody's ranting or arguing back and forth. It could be with a group or, you know, in a group chat, maybe, you know, your family has that some families do where they stay connected through a, a chat group. So. They know what's going on in each other's lives. Somebody feels like they might be a goner right now. I don't know what that means for you, but I was just like a, a traveling. So like somebody could be on road rage. Garth. Grant. Somebody could want you grant access, especially if there's like a break in. Maybe somebody's trying to get into your home. So do not allow people into your home that you do not know or you do not trust. Ronald or Ron. Like Megatron is, is here too, so. Could have some trolls around you too, Virgo. Somebody says, you got it. All my heart, my soul, my wishes. All of my love, my hugs, my kisses. Yeah, some Kenny Chesney over here. So Kenny. Somebody's like on to the next episode or on to the next adventure. So somebody may be ready to leave a situation. Somebody could feel like they're being nagged a lot in this chat group. Or with a, you know, this baby mama, baby daddy. And that's the only individuals are here that a lover. So freeing yourself from that. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah. Somebody could be in the military here, you know, like following the leader. So whatever the leader says to do, that's what you're supposed to follow. Somebody would be like, tag, you're it. Tag, you're it. I like playing mind games here. I got Nate. We got rats around you. 
people ratting you out or, you know, telling your secrets or spreading gossip, lies, rumors, trying to gain, gain control. Otters could be significant here. Somebody could like scary movies. They could be like really gory. Or it's just somebody just stuck in dark energy right now. On that, you know, sh stuck in their shadow side. So only take what resonates. We got N-A-T-O-R-N-G. First, middle, last, initial. You, your person, or anybody involved in this, uh, in this love situation here um i did say i was going to get some from the karmic deck over here for this twin flame if you know this is a your twin flame there's not a whole lot of them out there so take it as it resonates let's see what's going on with this karmic misery loves company like i said it's tired of making other people happy so you know misery attracts misery someone feels very miserable with their life they feel like they're hopeless, no new beginnings. At least where they're at, there's not going to be any new beginnings. Okay, if this is, uh, if there is karma here, this person is stole from you or may steal from you, especially if they're trying to break in. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, sexual energy over here. So abusing uh, sex. Abuse of power for sexual benefit or gain, so sextortion. Could be from this baby mama, baby daddy, you know. And they're feeling miserable because that's all it is. It's all about, you know, keeping someone stuck, playing on their fears just for sex. It's like they'll give them a little bit just to keep them hanging on so they won't go anywhere. So they're not happy. All right, Virgos, we got playing with fire. So somebody's playing with fire. You know what happens when you play with fire, you get burnt. So he or she's threatening. Yeah, there's threats over there. Abuse, uh, sexual abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, spiritual abuse. Okay, we got things are crumbling in front of this person and they're forced to watch it. They could be going through karma right now or they're in a karmic cycle. You know, especially if they've uh, done stole from you or if they've, they've done some type of malicious acts towards you virgo okay we have low self-esteem or you've done this towards somebody else or no self-esteem and this person feels weak so they choose less they just to stay comfortable to but they're miserable why would you want to stay somewhere where you're miserable and you're not happy and you may never be happy what's life if you're not if you don't enjoy it this this karmic is afraid of you she's he or she is shaking in their boots because you know stuff is crumbling in front of this person whether you know you are this karmic or um this person is your karmic or they're stuck in a cycle or you're stuck in a cycle it's going to be different for all of you place the situation reverse the roles as indicated okay uh family of narcissists so whether this person person is a, a narcissist or has narcissistic tendencies maybe they attracted someone a baby mama or baby daddy that is also a narcissist or they've met their match in this in this uh, situation so they chose less someone that had low self-esteem or no self-esteem which was a another narcissist or a someone that had like i said narcissistic tendencies but they weren't a complete narcissist they got someone that was even worse than them and now they're stuck with them or they feel like they're stuck with them because this person's playing on their fear, fears for sexual reasons it's like i will uh, i will give you a little bit just to keep you stuck here and keep you confused should have listened to you so someone says they should have listened to what you said maybe you warned this person or you know you said you know this is going to happen here i don't know but they should have listened to some advice here they could have a child with this person that the, the child or the children could be causing problems you know they could just be the mommy baby mama baby daddy holding the children over this person's head you know it could be faking pregnancies i don't it's going to be different for all of you but um it's not the child it's 
just because it's a karmic child, this child is either born in a karmic cycle or was born during a karmic cycle. There's nothing wrong with this child. Uh, leeches, so somebody leeching off this person or just, you know, like succubus energy, just staying, sucking the life out of this person. All they do is think about you. So all they're doing is thinking about you, but they feel like they can't do anything and they're miserable because they're a coward. They took easy street. Cowardly. And there's nothing that you can do about that individually. Each person has to work on their own self-esteem. That's why it's called self-esteem, self-love, self-care in order to recognize that you don't deserve this. You deserve more than this. You deserve better, Virgos. Because misery loves company, but you don't deserve to be miserable. Nobody does. We deserve to be happy. We deserve to feel love. We deserve to be love. We are lovable. All of us. So it's recognizing that and knowing that you're worth more than what this has to offer you. So uh, take these messages, Virgo, as they resonate for you, your person, your situation. Leave the rest. Hopefully they did resonate. And if they did, uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I do appreciate all the love and support for my channel. I thank you guys so much. And I hope that um, you have a wonderful month of May. And I wish the best for you for all your love and relationships and your connections. And you take care.